obviously you had a big performance today, ultimately being able to get the victory there. What, how were you feeling as the game progressed? Did you kind of feel yourself getting into a rhythm with Tannehill? How did that all play out for you? Yeah. Um, I mean, overall, um, you know, we were fighting all game long. We knew what we were getting into. It was going to be a dog fight. You know, they're a great team. Um, but, yeah, I mean, personally, I felt good going out there. Um, me and Tanny were clicking, and um, you know, I'm happy we got this W. Kyle? Yeah, Corey, when, when is the last time that you felt this good about the way you played, about this sort of uh, connected with your quarterback? Uh, and when did you know? I mean, you've had obviously a lot of injury type issues of various kinds. Uh, when did you know you were a full go going into this opener? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been rough. It's been a long road. It's been highs, it's been lows, but. Um, I mean, I'm just happy that we uh we got this win, and like I said, man, it's been a long road, but um we're a resilient team, and um we came out here, we knew what we were getting into, and me personally, I was obviously I was battling, you know, a little hammy, but um I was able to go out there, play fast, and you know, forget about everything else, and you know I feel great. So. And when is the last time you think you felt this good about after a game about the way you played and just sort of your contribution? Um, sometime last year, but uh, I don't know. I'm happy we uh, we came out and we we fought. And we won. Luke. Hey, Corey, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, you know, it, there it seemed like there were some times where maybe you all were out of sync, like there was a little bit of, of, of sloppiness that needed to clean to be cleaned up. What, what, what's sort of your take on where you all are, you know, not having had the preseason in terms of being in sync and playing together and, and how much room is there to grow in that regard? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of room to grow. Um, <clears throat> it was rough. It was tough sledding um, a few times. And we just – we know we had to do. We had to get back in our rhythm. We had to be us. You know, most of the time where – we were <clears throat> kind of shooting ourselves in the foot, getting penalties, and um, you know we just weren't being us. But you know, once we cut our rhythm and we're able to run the ball and um, you know complete some passes, we you know put some points up, and you know we were feeling good. So um, sloppy, but it was, it was a W. Jim. Hey Corey, Mike said he gave you a game ball in the locker room after the game. I guess how much, how good did that make you feel? And uh, and was there ever a doubt in your mind that you play tonight? Um, I mean, if I'm going to travel, I'm always going to have it in my mind, my mindset to, to you know, I'm traveling and it's, it's a business trip. I'm going to go out there and play. Um, so I, there was, you know, there was never really any doubt. Obviously, I was questionable, but, um, you know, I had it in my head that I was going to play. And um, it just felt good to get the game ball. You know, it was, <clears throat> like I said, it was, it was a long road for me personally. And, um, just to, you know, have coaches and players, you know, believe in me and, um, you know, the whole way through, it, it means a lot. And, and how important was it for the team to kind of keep its composure when some things didn't go right? You had injuries, you had missed field goals, mm -hmm. you had mistakes throughout. I mean, and do you think the experience of last year helped you kind of calm down a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's huge just to just stay poised. Um, you know, we've been down before. We've been in that position and um, – the thing that was unique was, you know, we we never really panicked. Um, like I said, we've been down before. We've been in that situation before. But um, we kept our, our poise and we were, you know, we were calm and we knew what we had to do. Paul? Hey, Corey. Um, I'm wondering if you could kind of go with the any wins a good win or you're happy to escape with this but generally unsatisfied with the – the, the shakiness of the overall performance. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be room for improvement. You know, win or lose, there's always something on tape that, um, you know, that you, you can you can get better at. But um, a, a W is a W, and I'll definitely take it. Emily? Hey, Corey. Uh, your coach said you were not quite at 100%. Um, what percentage would you put it at right now, and then uh, how are you feeling after the game? Um, I'm feeling great. 
um, especially after even better after the win. Um, I really wouldn't put a percentage on it, but you know, I'm feeling good, and you know, we're gonna go into next week ready and fired up. We got a short week, but um, you know, we know what we got to do. We're gonna go in and we're gonna attack the week. Terry. Corey, talk about what the mindset was like, I guess, in that last drive as you guys have left a lot of points out there on the field but uh, got one last shot at it. Can you, what was the mindset like in the huddle there? Um, it was one play at a time. You know, that's what, that's what Tanny kept repeating. And, um, you know, the guys, you know, we brought in and we, we knew that we had to take it one play at a time. You know, we were backed up to, I don't know, like the 10-yard line and we'd go – all the way down and, you know, Tanya just kept repeating one play at a time, one play at a time, and, um, you know, guys bought into that, and that's what we did. You know, just took it one play at a time. Um, and, you know, we were able to move the ball pretty well and uh, came up with the W. Uh, we have time for one more. Teron? Yeah, uh, shout out on the, on the three-piece suit, Corey. That, that, was, that was dope. I got um, it. <laughs> <laughs> how important is it? To, to get a receiver involved early in the game because that's what they did. And I've seen that with you before and you've had success. So in your opinion, why is that so important? Um, I mean, I like to get involved early, but, you know, it's not the end of the world if I don't. Um, we understand what the game plan is going in each and every week. Um, and I think Art does a great job of getting – trying to get everybody involved early, trying to get them, you know, to touch the ball. Um, so, I mean, there is some importance to it, you know, just to kind of get in your groove. But um, and I'm always locked in the game, you know.